Kills in multiplayer games are usually obtained by damaging one enough to where they die. How you do this depends on your choices and the game itself, but the way to do it is fairly simple. It's just getting someone to take 100 damage. There are ways to circumvent this. Like in Minecraft, you'll take less damage with Neverite armor than you would with Lever. Or say in Splatoon with Bomb Defense up, which can save you from a lot of bombs. What I'm saying is that damage is different between each game, but there's still a sense of familiarity, even if the games are completely different. Each weapon in Splatoon is very different, with attributes and different kits. Hell, some weapons get three tries for a good kit. Every single kit has a different way of killing someone, but I'm more interested in how much damage a weapon can do. So, I'm taking on the Herculean task of screwing around in a funny ink game and testing to see how much damage you can dish in Splatoon 3 with each weapon. The ground rules are, specials are not allowed at all. Each entry would just be that getting them to as close as depth as possible, then using a special to deal the most damage, and some don't do damage, so it would be unfair. You must use the main and sub weapon, unless if it does no damage, looking at you three. So, in this case, Rapid Blaster Pro, Tri Slosher, Zinc Mini, Tri Stringer, Nova, H3, Squiffer, Exposure, Nautilus, V Dapples, and Tenebrella will be at a disadvantage, but I'll still do them. No gear will be used in the testing, as that would drastically increase the work for me, and this is already a huge task. I will be using the training dummies that you can find in the lobby. The format for explaining will be this. Alright, got it? Let's go. Splattershot Jr. Fall off damage until 98, then a direct hit with a splat bomb, 278. Custom Splattershot Jr. Same thing as Splattershot Jr. Fall off, then a direct hit for Torpedo, 158. Sploosh o -matic. Fall off damage until 95, then a direct hit with a curling bomb. Make sure you don't hit the rolling hitbox with curling bomb, or you won't get 275. Splash o -matic. Fall off damage until 98, then a direct hit with a burst bomb. Note, burst bombs can't do 60 with a direct when the blow would be lethal. Don't know why, it just is like that. Aerospray MG. Fall off until 96, then a direct with an uncharged fizzy bomb. 146. Aerospray RG. Just shoot normally. 120. Splattershot. Fall off until 90, then a direct hit with a suction bomb. 270. Ten attack Splattershot. Same thing as Splattershot. Fall off, then a direct with splat bomb. Point fifty two gal. Fall off until 90, then a normal shot. 142. Point ninety six gal. One fall off, then two normal shots. 159. And zap 85. Same thing as splatter shot, 278. Splatter shot pro. Fall off until 84, then a normal shot, 126. Forge splatter shot pro. Two normal shots, then a direct hit from a suction bomb, 264. Splatter shot nova. Shoot normally, 120. Jet sculpture. Fall off until 96, then a normal shot, or a hit from angle shooter, 126. L3 nozzle nose. Throw a curling bomb, then shoot once, with all three shots hitting. 267. H3 nozzle nose. Shoot normally. 123. Squeezer. Fall off in paint mode until you get to 90, then a normal shot. 128. Splat roller. Throw a curling bomb, then fling once. 275. Dynamo roller. Back up before flinging, then go up close for crazy damage. 273. Carbon roller. Throw an auto bomb, then fling in the air twice. 273. Carbon roller deco. Throw a direct burst bomb, fling once from far away to get to around 90, then go in close and fling. 211. Flings a roller. Back up before vertical flinging twice, then go in close for a big hit. 249. Big swig roller. Same as flingsa. 211. Splat charger and splatter scope. Charge to about two fifths, then poke once. After that, roller splat bomb. 279. E leader and E leader scope. Same as splat charger, but instead of throwing a bomb, fully charge a shot. 279. Classic Swiffer. Same as E Leader. 234. Bamboozler Mark 1. Poke three times, then throw an auto bomb. 270. Goo Tuber. Same as E Leader. 279. Snipe Rider 5H. Same as E Leader. However, you need to charge more than two fifths because Snipe Rider does 60 max. 150. Slosher. Roll a splat bomb, but before it explodes, get up close and shoot the sky. 230. Slosher Deco. Hit three angle shooters, then slosh normally. 160. Try Slosher. Get up some place high and hit two fall off sloshes. Jump down and then slosh normally. 159. 
sloshing machine. Throw a direct fizzy bomb, then get an indirect followed by a direct hit. 184. Blob lobber. Just shoot normally. 120. Explosher. Get both the travel hit and the explosion, then hit it with the travel hit one more time. 145. Heavy splatling, mini splatling, and zinc mini splatling. For all three, shoot normally. For heavy, you'll do 120, and for mini and zinc, you'll do 128. For hydro splatling, throw an auto bomb, then tap shot three times before it explodes. 276. Ballpoint splatling. Charge the ballpoint until it goes into sniper mode. Hit the target three times, then hit it with an uncharged direct fizzy bomb. 140. Nautilus 47. Shoot normally. 128. Splat dualies. Throw a suction bomb, then shoot three times. 270. Dapple dualies. Drop off until you get to 90, then shoot normally. 126. Dapple dualies move out. Drop off until you get to 90, then throw a torpedo. 150. Booga Dooleys. Drop off until you get to 90, then do a turret shot. 142. Booley Squelchers. Drop off until you get to 98, then throw a splat bomb. 278. Dark Tetra Dooleys. Drop off until you get to 98, then throw an auto bomb. 278. Splat Brella. Hit with a radius shot until you're at 97, then go in for 81. 178. Tenabrella. Hit with a radius shot until you're at 85, then go in for a max damage shot. 204. Undercover Brella. Hit with the radius shot until you're at 96, then go in for a max damage shot. 136. Blaster. Shoot at the ground near the enemy, then shoot for a max indirect hit, then go in for a direct. 222. Two, two. Luna Blaster. Same as Blaster, but instead for finishing with a direct, you roll a splat bomb. Luna Blaster Neo. Roll a fizzy bomb so that you can hit for 35, then back up and try not to kill with an indirect. After all that, you'll just need a direct shot. 213. Huge blaster. Shoot at the ground near the enemy two times, throw a suction bomb, then shoot at the ground again before that bomb explodes. 259. Clash blaster. Hit three times with indirect shots, then throw a splat bomb. 270. Rapid blaster. Place down two ink mines, then shoot a direct. 175. Rapid blaster pro. Shoot at the ground near the enemy until they get to 87, then shoot a direct shot. 172. Ink brush. Get up close and swing three times, then roll a splat bomb. 270. Inkbrush Nouveau. Same as Inkbrush, but instead of a splat bomb, use an ink mine. 135. Octobrush. Same as Inkbrush, but swing two times and you're using a suction bomb. 260. Tri Sugar. Full charge and hit only two shots with the bow, then full charge with all three. 175. Reflux 450. Throw a fully charged curling bomb, make sure not to hit the roll shot, then full charge with all three shots. 270. Splatana Wiper. Go up close for two horizontal slashes, then do an up-close charge slash. And lastly, Splatana Stamper. Throw a burst bomb that does 25, then do a vertical swing from far away, then go in close with another vertical swing. 235. So now, some neat stuff that I would like to share with you. The weapon that can do the most damage is a three-way tie between the Splat Chargers, the E-Leaders, and the Goo Tubers. I find it really interesting that chargers do the most damage. It's just kind of funny, because, like, they one-shot with, like, 180 or something. It's funny. And they all have different ways of getting to 279. Well, two different ways, but whatever. The weapon that does the least damage is a four-way tie between the RG, Nova, Blob Lobber, and Heavy Splatling. They all do 120, and I know RG's a 5 hit, and so is Nova. Blah Blah is 4, and I'm pretty sure Heavy is also 4? I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. Alright, so there is that. I was really stuck on Blah Blah because I thought I could do some geometry bullshit, but no. Every shot does 30. There's no drop off. At least to my knowledge. Someone may know more about that. I don't. Out of the 65 weapons, not including Hero Shot, since it's just Splatter Shot, 9 weapons had you shoot normally to do the most damage. And lastly, the average damage, as of Chill Season, is 234. Thank you for watching. I seriously hope you enjoyed this video. I'm doing something new by putting the work times in the description, so if you want to see how incompetent I am, go down there.
while you're there, why not subscribe? As I'm really close to 100, and it'd be really nice. Uh, one last thing, just want to say, I'm not going to be doing any more Splatoon content this month. I've really been, like, overdoing it, honestly, and I've been sick all week as of January 5th, so, and all I've been doing is playing that while watching Alfred stream, so I'm going to be putting it on the back burner for now because I really should probably be doing something else and I'm gambling all my points away. <laughs> so, yeah. I probably won't be doing anything until February, and if I still feel like I'm burned out in February, then it'll go to March. But it should end at March, no matter what. It will end at March. But for now, it's until February. So yeah, anyways, I'll see y'all later.